our fourth speaker of the night, uh, Winston October, uh, the pass game coordinator and wide receivers coach with Edmonton Eskimos. Um, we're going to jump into a little perimeter blocking game. Go ahead, coach. All right. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Paul, for uh, putting this on. And everybody, this is, I hope everybody's safe and uh, crazy times right now. And, and as far as uh, being able to be home, but it's been great. Uh, to be able to to listen in on different clinics and and to have something like this as well. Uh, great job by the three guys uh, prior. Uh, <clears throat> really, it's, it's funny how, how you how we all kind of think very similar. Uh, to Paul's delight, I will be talking about blocking. Some of you guys might leave, um, but uh, <laughs> deal is uh, just securing uh, securing the perimeter. I think right now that's one of the biggest things with RPO game down south and also in the CFL. Uh, I'm just going to go over some the blocking principles that I teach, um, leverage, aiming points, and adjustments. Um, and then I, I, I might go really fast, so if some things get lost in, trans, in, in translation, then you know um, I'll, I'll have some my my contact info. We can uh, catch up later. All right, let's get going. So I just want to show some of our guys uh, that I've been fortunate, been coaching now for 14 years, fortunate enough to be around guys. The reason why I have these pictures up, uh, really try to, uh, one model we have in our, our room is you leave your ego at the door uh, and we're all one big family. And uh, in order for us to, <clears throat> to be successful, we got to have some love in the room. And uh, as you can see in the pictures, can everybody see this? You see this, Paul? Yeah, you're all good. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good. All right. So we just want to have fun and uh, love each other. All right. So in our room, uh, I asked him for three three things. I just say I want to be consistent. In, we want to be consistent in the run game. We want to be dependent on the pass game while always giving great effort. The great thing about it is the last part. Really, that comes from within. So it's it's my job to put them in the best possible situations so they can have confidence, and it's their job. Uh, to to let their talent shine. So, a real qu uh, quote I believe in uh, that the great player is not always the one with the most skill, but the one who anticipates the fastest. So you don't, and you only can anticipate when you know you are fundamentally sound. So you have to have uh, anticipation with excitement. So, uh, you know, I, I think it's. There's a saying that says it's not about what you know, it's about what the player knows. I really don't believe that. I believe that it's about does the player have enough confidence in his skill set to execute your scheme? And and that's our job as coaches to get past our egos and, and let the let the players play. Uh, because at the end of the day, it's their muscle memory that's making the fans stand up and scream. So in the blocking rules, there are uh, different types. I'm gonna I'm a really emphasize uh, the stock block and the different ways that I, I I teach it and there's the there's the cut block there's the springer block the crack and and the, the crack block so um <clears throat> this is what I give all the receivers I basically explain to them that blocking the run game I'll go real I paraphrase some of it sorry blocking the run game um essentially what I want them to do is um there's one rule and, and with Generation Z, uh, essentially, you know, they're big on hashtags. So I tell them hashtag non-negotiable, everybody without the ball is a blocker. Uh, and then with the stock block, uh, you kind of saw it there. I want them uh, to lower the center of gravity and focus their eyes on the defender's uh, navel. And then if they just look at, at, at Kobe Bryant, you know, and when he's ready to go, He's got his eyes ready to go. And that's the position I want my players in. So if you ever watch us on film, when we're blocking on the perimeter, we're ready to go. We, we are, and, and there's an old saying that I use with them, that heat rises to the top. So when we're ready to, when we're ready to engage on our block, we're going to rise and use our power clean or our hand clean uh, movements and then rise and, and accelerate through uh, the defender. <clears throat> All right, so the next phase of it, all right, is uh, I want them to be intentional in their approach, okay? I want them to be intentional in their approach. I want them to initiate the contact 
to the defender's area, thumbs up always, heads up. And so this block is not a kill shot. I don't want them lunging and I don't want them going for any big hits because they might miss their block, all right? So I just, what we usually tell them, uh, if you ever come to our practice, you'll hear me yelling, Cat Williams, Cat Williams. And so uh, if you ever heard Cat Williams talk about uh, the crocodile hunter, uh, here it is right here, and, and, and you'll understand what I mean when I say Cat Williams. Essentially, that's what I tell the guys is wait for it, wait for it. And so I, I come from the background of the fact that I played defensive back. Uh, and and uh, my first my four years at University of Richmond, and then two years in Montreal, and then I moved to wide receiver when I went to Washington Redskins, and then finished off as a wide receiver in Edmonton. And then I also have coached in the tri uh, triple option offense uh, my first two three years of coaching, and I was on defensive side for one year, and the next two years I coached in the on the offensive side. And so just going from the standpoint of understanding the leverage of the defender, the defender they're always gonna either look for their force or, where, or their alley. And so it's, I try to tell the guys, just wait for it, wait for it. They'll make their intentions. When they attack, you attack. The aiming point is the middle, uh, head up to outside or head up to inside, wherever the, wherever the, 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 the block is going. Uh, also, uh, um, the thing you will, will find is that uh, as we watch it, you'll have an opportunity to kind of see uh, different things that I've, I've changed over the time. So uh, I heard coaches talking about name drills earlier. You got to do that so that you can move fast through individual. But this is called the tennis ball shuffle. And the reason for the tennis ball shuffle is very simple. All right. All you're trying to do is it's, it's a dynamic drill. And this is what the drill is about. It's catch with one hand, throw with the other. But what you're trying to do is you are taking what that does. If you look, look at it, it's the tempo of wait for it. So wait for it, wait for it. it what it does, it calms you down, calms your feet down. It makes you not have to think about your feet. That's why you throw the tennis ball. The other reason why you throw the tennis ball is that now your hands are able to stay up. All right. In a position where it's ready to attack, where it's ready to attack, where it's not down. So when that defender comes charging, you're able to get your hands on that uh, uh, inside to outside plate or, in, or inside to in, uh, head up to, excuse me, head up to inside or head up to outside. All right. So the big thing is I'm doing a bad job. Uh, you don't want to click your feet. You don't want to click your feet. Same thing that you would do in basketball. All right. So I'm going to steal this little point right here. Also, this is something else we do uh, is that um, this one I was at Women Mary, we did it. Something else that you can do is as you go through your individual, all right, and you've already been in the classroom, the other thing that you can do with this drill that I've done in the past to cut down on mental errors is I will call out a play. I will say something like, all Omaha. And, and, I, would, and I would say, guys on the left, you're, you're into the boundary. Guys on the right, you're to the field. And they have to, as they throw the ball and shuffle, they have to say what those assignments are, okay? And, that, and that's helped me cut down on, on mental errors, and it's a, another great tool. What that does, you know, we're humans, and so we're very complex. So since we're complex, we should be able to, uh, excuse me, because we're complex, once we make things muscle memory, like shuffling your feet, being in that mambo position, you know what I'm saying, already having that weight for it, those things will, will come as muscle memory, okay? The next phase is what I call merry-go-round. I love this drill, all right? And this can be done on any level. The reason why I have this drill is that that pop-up dum dummy is very, uh, very sensitive. And again, they're in that mama position. They got their thumbs up. They got their heads up. He should have his eyes up here, but he's looking at the target. Uh, and so what you do on this is, is I always start with, I say hit, and they have to, again, translate the tennis ball shuffle around the around the, 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 uh, the pop-up, all right? The deal on this thing is this, is if you're lunging, that means you're more likely when that defender goes to push-pull, all right, he's either gonna push, because that's what different defenders taught, is to push, pull, rip, or just go ahead and rip. What ends up happening is if all your weight's forward, you're gonna either lose that block or you're gonna get a holding call, all right? So this is just 
teaching the contact point of it, okay? And, and the great thing about it, this is a great picture because you see the bag, how it's leaning towards the player there on the right. That's because the player on the left is putting all his weight onto the bag. And what that does, that stops guys from, from uh, potentially getting, getting overrun or potentially getting, uh, getting penalties. What I love to do with this thing is I love putting things on it, all right? I love putting things on it. So, you know, boost juice is a big thing uh, for some of these pro guys. So we, we make it a competition, all right? And everybody's in on it. Everybody's arguing and yelling, no, 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 because, you know, you're dealing with guys' pockets. But this is a great look at the drill. Sorry, some guys in the way. But, again, I would say hit, so they start on their right. So they're trying to go fast, and they don't want, to, they don't want their heels to click. Really good job of staying on the balls of their feet. But you see that bag movement. You see that bag movement. What happens is this, is that you get too excited. All right, what this translates to is this, is that when you, when you get in the game and that guy comes at you really fast, you get too excited, you get over, you, you get out of place, and then all of a sudden you lose your leverage, all right? You see it again. And you see that this is a really good rep. Really good rep by, by 19. Watch his body position. The only thing I would say is I would like him to be back away from the bag a little bit more. But look at, look at the shuffle of the feet. That's awesome. Head up, head up. But you see 87 here. His, way, his base is way too wide. And his hands is too high as well. So this, this is really good job. This is a really good drill to slow guys down in their blocking. All right, so then you translate here. You work together, all right, and we go for the weight for it, all right? So, again, you go tennis ball shuffle, tennis ball shuffle, engage, engage. Now you got the merry-go-round, all right? And once you engage, this is what, and this is what I learned from O-line coaches, right? Now you, you can, once that defender starts to, he wants to go ahead and try to get that outside leverage, now you turn it into a butt block. You literally turn your inside your inside leg all right and you start running him towards the sideline this is what i've learned over time once you run him into the sideline all right it's easier and it, even if you practiced it if you stood up and, and did it it's physiologically impo it's physiologically impossible for you to redirect if you stay square while somebody else is trying to go towards uh force trying to uh, keep force on the outside leverage all right what ends up happening you end up behind that guy and you end up put either pulling them down or you get a holding penalty, all right? But the deal is this. If you go and do what the o linemen do where they go and butt block and you go and turn and you have him engaged and you start running, if he does try to redirect, you can now just flip your hips naturally, all right, to regain that block. So that's what we do here, all right? So it's tennis ball shuffle. Sorry, wait for it. Tennis ball shuffle. Boom, merry-go-round. All right, here it is again. So watch their inside receiver. All right, too fast. Boom. And now look at him. All right, right now, if he was standing on the merry-go-round, that bag is moving. Watch the defender here push and pull. There it is. Well, watch here. Watch the guy down here. Good base. All right, wait for it. Boom, punch. The only thing I, the, the thing I don't like is you got to make a decision. Now you got him engaged. All right, you tell him where he wants to go. All right, so. Here's the next phase of this thing. The guys on the outside, what we want to tell, what we usually tell the runners is we want you to climb the ladder. So just imagine that, that the, those, those blockers have a ladder on them and you're just trying to climb the ladder. As a returner in the league, I never liked it when a coach would tell me where to run because he wasn't out there. He couldn't see it. I know he set, put the scheme up, middle return. Oh crap, everybody's caved inside. There's something outside, go. Outside return, wide return. Oh God, there's a hole put my foot in the ground. So uh, because I didn't like it, I'm not going to have somebody try to tell a guy where to go. I made this, uh, that's the suggestion I make. I want you to circle the field, climb the ladder. However, I want you to put your foot in the ground when it's time for you, when you think it's time to put your foot in the ground. All right, here it is again. Really nice job by both these guys. Really nice job. Boom. Great engagement right there. Now, the, the guy down here, all right, Guy down here, the only thing he did wrong is he got up there too fast. All right, but this is a decent job, 
I just wish that the inside receiver now will go ahead and do that butt block, and you'll see it in a minute. All right, all right, here we go. So, so my philosophy is this. Football plays are nothing but the extension of football drills. Football plays are nothing but the extension of football drills. So you better drill the work. And it's important that that happens. All right, watch this. Here it is. This is a great rep. Great rep. Watch it. All right. So if you just play it in your head, wait for I'm going to put it in slow here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. All right. Sorry, let me just play regular. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Engage. And there's the runaway. Watch 15. Watch 15 with the butt block. Boom. There it is. All right, really nice job. But what's, what I love about this drill, what I love about this play is right now, if you look at their hands, there's the muscle memory. That's like them throwing that tennis ball. That's a tennis ball shuffle right there. Boom. All right, so little nugget as well, all right, that I teach uh, all guys that, that uh, return or yaks, right? Possession receiver is not a compliment. For every step you take, the defender takes two. So what that means is this. When you're ready to make a move, for every step you take, there's, there's Sinopoli's step. The next step needs to be a full speed move and be ready to run through an arm tackle. So again, you'll see that continually on these, on, on these film. For every step you take, defender takes two. I got to go a little faster. But here's a good look at it from a wide copy. All right, watch him. Wait for it. Boom. Engage. Run, run away. And now again, you want to climb the ladder and then make your move up the field. Again, the reason why you're throwing that ball, right? You're throwing that ball because why? Because you're trying to get four yards. Watch it here. Watch him here. Boom. Now, somebody would say, well, the inside receiver didn't block nobody. Well, guess what? He's waiting for it. That's an awesome job. Wait for it. Wait. Awesome. Awesome. So if that if 41 would have went ahead and engaged, all right, then right now he would have been able to uh, make that block right there. But again, watch it from the end zone. Watch the watch the uh, the runner. Really nice job of climbing the ladder and then getting up the field. All right, here it is again. All right, down south. Watch the two guys up top. Boom. Awesome. Take him where he wants to go. Take him where he wants to go. Watch the inside guy. Boom. Watch the outside guy. Wait for it, wait for it, boom. All right, and that guy that's running the ball is uh, Devontae Dedman. He's got his uh, at uh, Ottawa right now. <clears throat> this is him in college. All right, here it is again. All right, so now the, de the defender in the slot, all right, he's going, he's, he's like, no, nah, I'm gonna go take it away. Well, that's a great job of the slot now. Wait for it, boom, engage. Look at him run. Look at him run with him. That's an excellent job. Terrible job of the guy up top. Watch it from the end zone copy here. Doing okay, Paul? Perfect. Yes. I love it. <laughs> All right. So here it is. Watch him. Watch it from the end zone. This is great. This is good shit right here. Sorry, cussing. Well, look at it. Run him away. Run him away. Now, it's the, it's the guy that got the ball in his hand to do the job. All right, here it is again. Oh, you're going to like this one. All right, so this for teams that want to keep corners back, all right? So, again, you got the, you got the, the uh, wait for it, the tennis ball shuffle, all right? So this guy, the, the receiver at the bottom, his guy is deep. Well, there's no reason for him to go ahead and attack him because he's going deep. Well, that's his fault. So now what you want to do, all right, now what you want to do is you want to help your boy. All right, you want to help your boy. So what you do here, you want to do with the old lineman. Do you want to give him a single, a single block or ace block, whatever you guys call it, you know? But right now you give him off, offhand help. Boom. All right, you capture. All right, you capture. Now go get your guy. Go get your guy. And now the technique, now that you're engaged, you know that he has force, all right? You want to run away. You want to run away. Look at the, the guy up top. All right, we'll watch it from the uh, wide, a wider 
here we go. The guy, the inside receiver, he's got one of those two guys. All right, watch him. Wait for it. All right, I got him. Now he does a bad job because he should attack. He should go ahead and attack right now. Attack that outside shoulder. And you can see where his, his muscle memory runs into play. Watch him. Boom. He's doing the runaway. He's doing the runaway. Watch it. That's good stuff right there. That's, that's a good rep. That's a good rep. Here you go, climbing the ladder. Now me, I probably would have stepped inside, but I'm never gonna tell a guy where to go, right? We wanna get four to five yards. Wanna get four to five yards. Here it is again. All right, so this uh, against uh, a team that knew what we were doing. So watch the, watch the defender. All right, he wants to go there. Well, let him go, run him away. All right, it's your job as return as, as a returner, but really that's what you become. All right, it's your job as the runner to now make those guys right. Make those guys right. Fast forward, guys, I know my time is going, all right? But watch the muscle memory right here. Look at it. Look at those guys with the runaway. Even this guy, uh, the outside guy, watch him. Number 22 goes to redirect, all right? Sorry. 22 goes to redirect, and he's able to regain control of that outside leverage, all right? And then you put the ball in your guy's hands and let him make plays. All right, so the next thing you got is the cut block. With the cut block, this is just, I'm gonna paraphrase it a little bit, all right? So this is where you get to frustrate the defender, all right? The initial technique is just like the stalk, where you think about Black Mamba, all right? And you think about Cat Williams. But the difference is, you know, people watch film. They say, when this guy comes off, this is what he's gonna do, all right? So now you can, the guy's gonna try to juke you, do all that stuff, all right? This is an opportunity now where you're gonna cut him, all right? And what your job is this. I tell guys, and this is from my triple option days, coaching two years in, in a triple option where we had nothing, we did nothing but block because we threw the ball seven times a game. All right, maybe, maybe that's an exaggeration. Maybe it was four. However, outside leg, outside pad, all right, outside thigh board, excuse me, all right, and you want to run through that outside thigh board with your head up, all right, with your head up, get that guy on the ground, all right? And the key is, is always make sure your head is up. So here's a good look at it right here. Watch the guy. Here you go. So let's coach the inside guy first. All right. He's leading with his inside leg. That's a big no. He already lost leverage. All right. He already lost leverage. All right. Because that guy is able to right now. All right. Give him the juke move. But if he just would have led with that outside foot. All right. And waited for it. All that extra juke and stuff wouldn't have mattered. All right. But watch the guy at the bottom. Watch him. Wait for it. Wait for him. Gotcha. There's the cut. That's an excellent job. Boom, through that outside thigh board. That's good stuff. That's good stuff right there. Watch it here. Boom, that's good stuff. Love it. Love it. All right, what that's gonna do, that's gonna slow him down. Now, here we go. So right here, that corner is off. So the inside receiver right now is thinking, man, I'm gonna, get that, I'm gonna be able to get that single or that ace because that's coached. They should know that. So watch the inside receiver. He is taking an outside leverage, which he shouldn't anyway. All right. He takes an outside leverage, waiting on the on that on that that help. He doesn't get it, but what he does a good job of, watch him turn his hips. Boom. All right. Go ahead and go. Now it's the guy that's running the ball to be able to react off that. And then now you get a cut up top. Watch it here. That looks like wait for it. And look at 24 trying to play with them. Let me uh, let it play. Got, nope, gotcha. Ha, gotcha. All right, here's a good look at for every step you take, the defender takes two, all right? So watch it. Watch that left foot, all right? Sorry, sorry. Watch that left foot right there, all right? And watch the defender. One, two, there it is. Next one is a full speed move. I'm going to let it play. All right. If, if you do it right, that guy will never make the tackle. All right. Here is a cut block not working right. All right. Again, watch the, the slot in the middle. A slot, the, the slot. Watch him. He does wait for it, but he goes to cut the inside thigh board. All right. We, you get lucky because the, the receiver does a good job of, of, of climbing the ladder. However, this could have been a way better play, I believe, all right, if he would have attacked that outside thigh board. 
Great job by the outside receiver. Sorry, guys. Great job by the outside receiver. Boom. Run them, run them, run them. Again, you're just trying to get, you're just trying to get four to five yards. Everything else is a plus. All right, Springer block. Woo. Love this one, baby. All right. So this one right here, Springer block is usually the uh, on a cutback on, on a cutoff block on the backside. A guy's coming, you're gonna make that block. All right. Or or you're on the same side and you go ahead and you make that block for your uh for your teammate. You know what I'm saying? Again, that goes back to the this generation Z with their hashtags, hashtag non-negotiable. All right. If you don't have the ball, you are a blocker full stop that there's no conversation about it. All right. And so the big thing is this, when one guy shine, we all shine. All right. Let's go and celebrate in the end zone. Let's go and celebrate in the end zone. This is a great look. All right. Watch the receiver up top. Watch the receiver up top. All right. So this is a good look at him trying to go get a springer block. We throw the ball here to the slot. All right. He's going to go get something. Boom. That's good shit. That's good shit right there. That right there, all right, that's somebody getting fired up about making a block just as much as making a catch. That's good shit. Sorry, I'm cussing. I apologize, man. All right, this is a, a great story here. We're down, uh, it's 34 seconds left in the game. All right, we're down by seven. And uh, opportunity here, uh, I'll just let you see it. I should let you see it. All right. Down by seven. Uh, Got to want to tie the game to get in an overtime at least. Watch the slot on the inside here. Watch his Springer block. Any little thing counts. Any little thing counts. All right. We end up coming back and winning this game in overtime. All right. But if he doesn't make that block right there. All right. If he doesn't make that block right there and that receipt that the guy running the ball doesn't have confidence in his boy that he's going to make that block, all right, I don't think we, we win this game, all right? But that's good stuff right there. What I, what I love more about this play is not only does he make the Springer block, but he's down there looking for more, and then he's down there celebrating with him. That's good well, stuff. Howard okay. Mudd would absolutely love that block right there. That's his crossing guard he talks about all the time. Uh, it doesn't have to be pretty. You just get don't. in his way. Just get in his way, baby. Get in his yeah. way. All right, but that's good stuff right there. All right, and that's what I'm talking about. About, you know, is it what is is it about what I know? It's not about what I know. It's about what they know. No, do they have enough confidence in the skill set in in their skill set to execute uh, the scheme? And 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 that's the key. Give those guys the confidence. All right, and here's another adjustment off it. So now, all right, you watch. Everybody watches film. So you got wait for it. Wait for it. He goes and attacks. I'm going to take it away. Well, nah, I got you. All right, good option off of it. Good option off of it. Watch it again. Excellent, excellent. All right, so uh, this, is, this is my contact info. Guys, I appreciate it. You know, that's it right now. Uh, Paul, I'm done. Uh, but this Perfect. is my contact info. Um, this is some other avenues. Um, some, I have some other drill tapes on some of these things. Um, I encourage you, uh, we as coaches continue helping each other. Um, but I was fortunate enough to be on the inside, uh, inside the headset with uh, Mario, Mario Price, one of the guys for the uh, AFCA. And the thing with that, um, even if you don't go listen to mine, please go and listen to those because there's a lot of great information, other guys that have spoken. Also on Coach Tube, um, I have some other drill tapes. And then um, also, uh, there's, uh, the, the coaching AFCA clinic this year, um, convention, excuse me, I spoke at it and there's a DVD on coach's choice, uh, another avenue for you to be able to, uh, to, to see some, some other ideas. Also other coaches, if you're interested in the coach's choice, please contact me at one of these things, uh, because I have uh, some discounts, uh, cause you do have to pay for those DVDs, but I do have some discounts. And I do have some some links of other DVDs that I've downloaded myself that I'll be willing to give to you as well, um, because we're all in this thing together. Again, guys, thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. And uh, I hope everybody stays safe.
That was awesome, Coach. I appreciate you doing that. I love your, your video at the beginning, you know, gives the guys the, the visual, you know, you got the, the comedian showing what he's doing there. But the guy that in with the guys will always remember that when you're when you're talking about that. And then uh, the one step equals two steps for the defense. That's some great stuff right there. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to unmute your mic and go for it. Hey, Coach, real quick, uh, not a question, but fun fact, because I actually use the uh, Black Mamba technique for my backs. Oh. <laughs> and uh, one of the fastest snakes, so when we strike, we strike fast. Awesome. I awesome. love it. I love the picture, though. I'll be using that for sure. Appreciate <laughs> it. No problem. That was awesome. And the, the clip where that receiver knocked down the, uh, the DB, it may have helped that it was number 89. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See? Hey, shots fired. I... Hey, 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 hands up, man. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, guys, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, Paul, thanks again for, for doing this. And thanks, guys, for taking your time, uh, taking time out tonight to, to listen. That was awesome. We appreciate it.